London's summer of 1944, the city believed the worst of the Blitz was behind them, but a new sound began to drift across the English Channel, a metallic, pulsing drone, like a giant, mechanical insect. They called it the Doodlebug, or the Buzz Bomb. It was Hitler's first weapon of revenge, the V1. The psychological terror was intentional. As long as you heard the engine buzzing, you were safe. The moment the engine cut out, that was the moment you knew it was diving, and you had 15 seconds to pray. The V1 was terrifying, but it was slow. It could be shot down. Hitler needed something unstoppable. The second vengeance weapon changed warfare forever, the V2. This was different. This was not a plane. It was the world's first long-range ballistic missile. It was a skyscraper filled with explosive amatol, launched straight up, touching the edge of space. It fell on London faster than the speed of sound. There was no buzzing warning, no time to hide. One moment a building was there, the next, a crater. The technology was awe-inspiring, but the foundation it was built upon was barbaric. The V-weapons were born at Pinimund, a secret research center on the Baltic coast led by brilliant scientists like Wernher von Braun. But as Allied bombing intensified, production went underground, deep into the Haas Mountains, into the hell of the Mittelwerk tunnels. Here, the true cost of the space age was paid. Thousands of slave laborers from concentration camps like Dora were forced to build these rockets. They lived in the tunnels, starved, beaten, and worked to death in freezing darkness. It is a grim historical irony. More people died building the V-2 rockets in the camps than were ever killed by the weapon striking London. The V-weapons failed to save Nazi Germany, but the technology survived. The scientists of Pinemund were captured and taken to America and Russia. Werner von Braun built the rockets that took humanity to the moon using a workforce of starving slaves. So here is the hard question for the comments. Is progress ever worth the price of blood? Let me know your verdict. History is usually written by the victors, while the truth is buried with the victims. Most people scroll past the darkness to find something comfortable. You didn't. You watched until the very end. That tells me you value the truth over the official narrative. But channels like this struggle to survive against an algorithm that prefers easy entertainment. Prove them wrong. Click subscribe and join us. Let's make sure these stories never fade into the dark again.